Hello, this is Satbir. In this video, we will learn about the chain rule. In some previous video, we have learned that how to calculate the derivative of some simple function. For example, x to the power 3, e to the power x, sine x, cosine s, etc. We also learned that uh, how to calculate the derivative of sum of two simple functions. For example, x to the power 3 plus sine x or x to the power 3. Uh, minus sine x. Uh, we also learned that how to calculate the derivative of the product of two simple function. And here is an example, which is x to the power three sine x. We can also uh, compute the derivative of a quotient of two simple function by using the quotient rule. For example, the derivative of sine x divided by x cubed. Uh, in this video, we will learn that how to calculate the derivative of a bit more complicated function. For example, sine x, x cube, where the x cube is shovel inside the uh, function sine x. And uh, also there is another example, 2x plus 7 uh, is inside of 8. Uh, these type of function are known as the composite function. Um, or the composition of two or more function. There is a one misconception about these function. I want to clear before we move ahead. Uh, sine x to the power three, sometime uh, uh, we think that it is the sine x time x to the power three, that it is the product of a function sine x uh, and x to the power three. Uh, this is wrong. This is not correct. Uh, this, is an, this is a composite function, not the product of two function. And we cannot calculate the derivative of uh, uh, this type of function by using the product, product rule. Uh, so next question is how to calculate the derivative of this type of function, which are not the product, uh, but instead one function is shovel inside of the another function. So to calculate the derivative of uh, this type of functions, we will use the chain rule. Uh, what is a chain rule? Chain rule is a formula uh, which calculates the derivative of, uh, uh, of composite function where the function gx is inside of the function fx. So fx function is called outside function, g function is called inside function, and uh, the derivative of this uh, function uh, is calculated by this formula, which uh, uh, which can be translated as we calculate the derivative of first outside function, which is f, and we will not touch the inside function in the very first step. Uh, so gx will we stay inside of the derivative of the outside function, and then we will multiply outside the derivative of the inside function. So let's practice this rule with an example. So I have this example where uh, I have function sine x, x cube. So this is my outside function f, and this is, I'm gonna denote by gx, which is my inside function gx. So we can see that this is the, uh, this will fit in the composite uh, rule or the chain rule. We have one function inside, another function is outside. So what this rule says, they say the derivative of the outside function, the inside function will stay as it is, and we will multiply the derivative of inside function outside. This is the rule. Uh, so what is the outside function? The outside function is a sign. So we learned that in the previous video, uh, the derivative of sine is a cosine. So the inside function g, x, g which is x cube will stay as it is and then we will multiply the derivative of g function outside the g function is x cube so the derivative of this function is a 3x square um, now we will simplify this uh, expression a little bit so this is a 3x square uh, cosine x to the power 3 so this is my final answer. I will put the box around it. Okay. Uh, so there is another way of calculating the derivative using the composite function if we use the Leibniz notation. Uh, 
uh, under the Lebanese notation, our uh, formula can become become dy by du times du by dx. So if I if I choose the function gx, I as a, I will denote that function with a z, with a u, and then my outside function become f of u, and then I will calculate the derivative by doing this chain. So you can see the I calculate the derivative of the outside function first, and then I multiply the derivative of uh, the inside function. So let's practice this rule also with an example. So we here we have the function y is equal to square root of x cube plus x. So if I let my u is equal to x to the power three plus x, which is the inside of the square root, then y function will become the square root of u because I choose this as my uh, u. So now what is the derivative of this function from this formula? The derivative of this function is gonna be dy du. First the derivative of the y function and then the derivative of the u function with respect to x. Uh, therefore dy du, what is the y? y is the square root of x and then d over dx. I will substitute u here, which is x cubed plus x. So let's calculate the derivative of uh, square root of u, which is a u to the power one half. So derivative of this function, we can use the power rule. This is gonna be u to the power one half. So one half minus one is negative one half. And the derivative of x cubed plus x is going to be uh, 3x squared plus one. So here uh, we do not want to leave our answer in u and x. We would like to have the one variable. We start from x. We should finish with the answer uh, all in x. So what is my u? My u is x cubed plus x. So I will uh, substitute in here. And this is a three x squared plus one. So that's my final answer by using the y prime. So by using the Leibniz notation, I can also basically calculate, use the chain rule in a bit different way. Uh, I have few more examples where we can practice. So let's, we can use, uh, on this example, we can use the Leibniz conditions rule or in this example, I will do without using the Leibniz uh, just by using the direct chain rule formula. Uh, so let's see the solution of the problem number one. So here I have y is equal to e raised to power x divided by x squared plus one. So I can choose my u as the inside function of e which is you can take x x square plus one uh, this will implies my y will become e to the power u you know? and uh, then therefore what will be the y prime so y prime will be d y du by the chain rule formula and du with respect to dx uh, dy du dy du of e to the power u because that is a y y is e to the u and here d over dx of u which is x over uh, x square plus one uh, the derivative of e to the power u is e to the power u uh, that we learned in like, some previous lectures and the derivative of this function, which is x divided by x squared plus one. So you can see this function is a quotient function, quotient of x and x squared plus one. Uh, we can calculate the derivative by using the quotient rule. Uh, how we use the quotient rule, we take the derivative of the top, we take the derivative of the bottom, and then we do that chanting, low d high, low multiply to high, high multiply to low, and then low square. So I will write it there, 
low function is x square plus one, it multiplied to five function one minus uh, high d low, this multiplied to this is a two x square and low low means low square is x square plus one. So I will, uh, I would like to have my answer. This is the y prime. I would like to have my answer in one variable. So I'm gonna replace u by, by, by x square, by x square, uh, x over x square plus one. So this is x over x square plus one. I will simplify this a little bit. This is going to be one minus x square. Uh, and divided by x square plus one. So that's our final answer for this problem. Again, I can go over one more time on this problem. So we have this function y is equal to e to the power x, x square plus one. So since I want to use the Leibniz uh, notation, so I take my function which is inside as a u so y function will become e to the power e u. So then I use the uh, chain rule, which is a y prime dy du time du dx. And I substitute the value of y, substitute the value of x. The derivative of e to the power u is e to the power u. Derivative of quotient function is by using the, the quotient rule. Uh, and then I plug back my value of u. Uh, let's... Uh, uh, work on the second problem. Here I'm gonna directly work on the using the uh, chain rule. Uh, this is my function f. I can see this is a composite function. This is a function x and g function which is inside is this function uh, sine of x. So my outside function uh, is cosine and my inside function is sine. Uh, so let's see that uh, how we can calculate the derivative of this by choosing the chain rule. So it's going to be dy by dx of uh, cosine times sine of x. Uh, the formula is f derivative of outside function, inside function stay as it is, g of x as it is, and then derivative of inside function is outside. So since our outside function is a cosine, it is a derivative is sine. And the inside function stay as it is, which is a sine x. And we will multiply the derivative of the inside outside, which is uh, sine x. So derivative of sine x is cosine of x. So yeah, that's complete the problem. We will box that up. I have one uh, problem here for you to practice. Uh, in this problem, so you have to calculate the derivative of the function and then substitute uh, zero in it and then uh, check that which uh, options you will get. Uh, if you have any question, you uh, can uh, leave in the comment section below. Okay, so next one is uh, also a chain rule, but uh, this chain rule, uh, we use it a lot. So I'm going to give you the formula for this special chain rule. Uh, this chain rule is if the function is composite of a power function and some other simple function. So most of the time we will encounter this type of function where we one function has some power uh, on the top. So you first will use the power rule. So n, so you, we know that how the power rule work. We take the power down, we subtract one from the power. And then basically we do that. We take the derivative of inside and put it outside. So that is the second, uh, uh, the derivative of inside function or the second layer of the derivative. Uh, here are the true example where we will practice this rule. So as you can see that this is the uh, composite function of a power function, x to the power 100, and the inside function is this uh, uh, x to the power three minus one. So how this rule will work, we will drop the 100 and we take one power, x. Uh, 100 minus one is a 99, 
and we will multiply the derivative of inside outside which is a 3x square uh, minus 0 so I will leave it like that so this is the answer for that you if you want to simplify you can but I'm leaving it like this uh, here this function is the derivative of dy by dx uh, fx to the power one half so again this is a power function and the composite uh, and the composite function uh, this f of x is inside the function so the derivative will be we will drop the power one half uh, we take one from the power one half minus one is a minus one half and we will multiply the derivative of inside outside which is f prime of x so i have a few examples here so where we can practice this rule so let's try to solve them uh, our first example is uh, uh, dy by dx of x square plus one x cubed plus 1 to the power 4. So in this problem we can see uh, first this is the product of two function. So we will use the product rule first. What is our product rule? Product rule is the derivative of the first function dy by dx x square plus 1 times the second function as it is x cubed plus 1 to the power 4 plus the first function is as it is x plus one and the derivative of the second function dy by dx of x to the power three plus one to the power four yeah if you forgot the power what is the the product rule the product rule is f prime is equal to f uh, derivative of f g function is as it is and f derivative of the function g um so let's simplify this a little bit more so our derivative of x square plus one is 2x by using the power rule derivative of x square is a 2x and derivative of one is zero and uh, derivative of this function is a 3x to the power 3 plus 1 to the power 4 so we don't are going to we are not going to take the derivative of this function so now this function will stay as it is and let's look at the derivative of this function you can see that we can use the power rule and uh, quotient and the chain rule together so we will drop the power and x cube plus one we take one from the power and we will take the derivative of inside and multiply outside which is a three x square so that's why it's called a chain because it has a chain of uh, going twice it's a two pro step process first you use the power rule and then we use the chain which you go inside the function outside uh, so this is the complete solution of that problem i will leave here you can simplify also this one but uh, i'm leaving the solutions here like that uh, let's work on the second problem which is a problem of using the double chain so you will see that uh, problem number two this is a question of we have to use the 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 chain rule twice dy by dx and this is a cosine of sine function is inside of the cosine and everything is inside of that power function x to the power eight so the first we will use the power rule which is a to will drop and you're gonna have cosine and sine of x so that is the first chain rule that seven and the derivative dy by dx of inside is outside uh, which is a cosine the sine function inside of that okay so this will stay as it is sine of x to the power seven um, but here you can see that this is again a composite function where f where this 
is f function which is outside and g function is inside so our f is a cosine our g is a uh, g is sine function so we will use that uh, composite rule which is a f prime uh, f prime g and derivative of g outside so in this line i will complete that problem so it's going to be sine of x to the power 7 uh, what is f prime what is the derivative of cosine which is a negative sign but g function will stay inside which is the sine of x and then we multiply the derivative of the inside function which is cosine of the derivative of sine is cosine of x so this is the solution for that problem um next we have another uh, practice problem for you guys to try and let's check whether if you have mastered that uh, concept and uh, if you have any question you can leave in the comment section below uh this is a more a more challenging problem uh, of the chain rule where i did not give you uh, what is the function fn and gx instead of i give the graph of that function so let's try how to basically uh, calculate something like that so if we have the function hx which is the composite of fx and gx the gx function is inside of fx so what is h prime of x the h prime of x is the derivative of the outside function this is the chain rule and the derivative of the inside function is outside. Since uh, uh, we are uh, computing the derivative at two, so this is the problem is asking, calculate the derivative of h at two. So we will replace the h by two. So we have f prime g evaluated at two time derivative of g evaluated at two. Um, so, this is a one more step. So we know that what is the value of g at two. So this is a two, this is a graph of the function gx. The value of the g at two is a four. So I think four g prime at two. Um, but how to know what is the value of the derivative at four when the graph of the function is given? So let's calculate what is the value of the derivative uh, at four. So this is a four and uh, so the derivative, what will be the derivative of the function at this point? Uh, since we know that the derivative of the function is uh, uh, gives you the slope of the function. So if slope of the tangent line, uh, so if I draw a tangent line on the this function, it will be parallel to this line. So it means the derivative of the function uh, from here to here will be simply what will be the slope of that line because this is a linear so let's calculate what is the slope of this line so rise over run if i start from here if i run one unit i will fall two unit so the slope of that line will be uh, i'm fall two when i rise when i run one so it will be negative two uh, so therefore the derivative of the function f prime at four will be negative two and uh, also we need to so this is a negative two here so as we need to calculate what is the derivative of the function at uh, at two which will be simply what is the slope of that line so if i uh, run one and two unit i will fall one unit so i fall one unit if i run two unit so the slope of the Therefore, the derivative at that point will be basically negative one half, which is one. So this is uh, how you can calculate the derivative of the functions uh, because these are the linear line. So derivative of uh, here will be the slope of their line. Um, and I have, you can see that this is the solution of that problem. Then I have one more, a bit more complicated problem, which is hx 
is equal to f x square time g x plus one. This is the product of two function and both of these function are also composite. So we will use the product rule as well as the uh, uh, chain rule. So what is the derivative of the first function is gonna be f prime derivative outside function, inside function stay as it is. And derivative inside is outside, which is a two x. And uh, according to the product rule, g x plus one stay as it is. And then we will take the derivative of uh, inside the second function and we leave the first function as it is. Uh, it will be g prime x plus one and derivative of x plus one outside, which is just one. So if I calculate this uh, at two, let's see what we get. So if I multi, if I plug two in this whole equation, so it's plug two here is gonna become four. I'm gonna be f prime at four and uh, plus f is evaluated at four. Now two squared is a four and g prime uh, at three. Uh, similarly, we can calculate what is f prime at four. It will be again negative two. And also we can calculate what is a g at three. It's gonna be a negative one half. Uh, and uh, we can plug it there and we can get the solution this time. We will get is a minus 59 divided by two. Uh, you can verify that one as well. Uh, this is my last slide, which is uh, in a practice problem for uh, for you guys. If you, you need the solution for this problem, so you can um, uh, give um, right put your question in the comment section below. I will provide you the solution to that problem. Um, thank you very very much for watching my video, and uh, I will come next time with.